Hey book lovers, how's it going? Just so you know, I am using a new software that you record and you edit your software within the same app. Uh, it's brand new to me. This is the first video other than a very short like test video um, that I'm going to be doing. I've also got my microphone here plugged into it. So um, yeah, if there's any kind of issues, I apologize. This is... Um, we're testing this out and I figured this is a really good video to test it out on. So we're here to do the anything but books book tag. And I just want to say thank you to Tatiana for officially tagging me to do this. It has been a really long time since I've done a book tag, but I've also been really enjoying getting to know you. And I really appreciate your comments on my videos. So let's go ahead and get into this. The first question is, what is something that you own way too many of other than books? This is definitely going to have to be notebooks and sketchbooks. Um, many, many years ago, I would keep a journal like all the time. I was always writing and I would go, I would, I would fill an entire journal like cover to cover like once a year. Um, and then as I've gotten older and however, in the last last many years actually i have pretty much quit journaling except in the last couple of years i have been trying to make a point to do more journaling it is something that is extremely it's something that's very therapeutic and um really helps me sort out <laughs> every time i swear uh, Question number two, what is something that you do for fun that is not reading a book? For this, I'm going to have to go with Taekwondo. While I like to do a lot of different things, Taekwondo is something that I would like to share and also brag about my kids for a minute because um, my, so when we lived in Florida, my kids did karate for a good year and a half. And then we moved here and there wasn't a lot of karate dojos so we went ahead and switched over to taekwondo which i know was kind of hard for them because they had gone several belt levels in karate and then when we moved over to taekwondo they kind of had to start all over from white belt again um but it also allowed me to not be far behind them um a couple of months in i decided to also join because my oldest is in the teen and adult class. Um, so it just ended up working out. That would be a really nice activity for us to do as a family and also a good way for me to get in a, a good way for me to get in a good workout because that is something that's really hard to really hard to make myself do. There's always just something else that could be done. Um, Laura, my God, knock it off. There we go. Oh my God. Little boy. Um, also, I had never really done any kind of competitive sport in my life, uh, so this is new. We are doing, um, so with Taekwondo, there's a lot of going to tournaments. Um, my oldest actually, to his first tournament uh, a few months ago, I forgot, uh, is more nervous and has a lot more anxiety, and he did so good at his first tournament, and he won a gold medal and a couple of other medals also in his other areas. And with that gold medal, he gets to go to the world tournament in San, Fran San Antonio, uh, San Antonio, Texas. So we are going to plan a whole family vacation around that. So yeah, I just wanted to brag about him for a minute. <laughs> Number three, what is something special or important on your nightstand that is not a book? Um, I don't really keep a lot on my nightstand. The clutter drives me nuts. I would probably say like my pen and my highlighter um, for when I'm reading my book at night and it's there so that I can annotate my book. What's something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? Honestly, I rarely buy anything 
except for books. A lot of the bookstores I go to don't really have merch except for Second and Charles. They have a lot of really cool book merch and I love looking at it. But then when I look at the price tags, I'm just like, that's just really expensive. I don't know if I'm going to use that, you know? Um, oh, except actually it's as if I planned it, but I did actually buy this coffee mug. It was on sale. So that's why I ended up, I don't remember how much it was. But I think it was like $3. And Cancer is my zodiac sign. So, um, yeah, I saw this mug and I was like, I have to have it. And then I keep looking to see if they're going to have um, my the rest of my family's zodiac signs. But they never have any of them. But that's okay. They, oh, bam. Books a Million in Florida. They did have a cafe. And I went there a couple times and had coffee there. But for the most part, I do not purchase anything else except for books. <laughs> What's a fun gift that you've received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? Most recently for Valentine's Day, for those balloons, <laughs> um, they got me the Hogwarts Legacy game and that's really exciting. What's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? Um, I'm going to pick two for this because I love both of these channels, but they're both in the true crime niche. And there is 10 to Life and the other one is Daniel Christie. They both cover really interesting cases, especially Daniel Christie. She covers a lot of cases that are um, about cults, um, about House of Horrors, um, they're just really incredibly shocking. Plus, both of both of those channels, I think they do such an amazing job of like flushing out an entire story from beginning to end. Um, and I just love listening to them both talk, especially Daniel, because I don't know, I don't know where she's from. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but she's a beautiful accent. I just love listening to her talk as well. <laughs> All right, first little bit of fumble. I don't have the last little portion of the rest of this video. So, but really, it's just the last question is um, tag of five booktubers to do this tag. And all I have to say is that I don't really know that many booktubers, uh, like, you know, in the capacity of where I feel like I would like reach out to the mail like, Hey, you do this tag. You know what I mean? Um, so that being said, if you would like to do this tag, go ahead and drop me a link. Cause I would love to get to know you better. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.